calculations and develop this KPI. I'm connecting to the sample superstore data source. In this data source, we have the four years of data. Let me write the two parameters first. So first parameter is to select the year. I will name the parameter as uh, choose year. So we'll provide the values uh, for this year. So I'm going to select the data type as the integer and provide the list of values 2020, 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023. Here in the display, as uh, show, you can remove the comma. Do this for all other values. And then select OK. Next, we'll write one, create one more parameter for the date range selection. So we will uh, name this uh, parameter as date range. Choose the data type as string. Select list. I'm going to provide year. So whenever user selects year, it will display the whole year data. So if user selects Q1, it will display Q1 and Q2 it should display and the Q2 value for the selected year. So we can keep on adding for Q3 and Q4. For now, I will uh, stop here and I will add the values for the month. If it is M1, we'll show it as display as Jan, January and M2 as February. So we can keep on adding for all other months. I will stop it here and then select okay so now we have created two parameters let's write the calculations for uh, the to filter the data based on the selection so first i will write one calculation to filter the data for current selection let's say create sorry i need to select create calculated field create calculated field and the name of the calculation is filter current selection okay so if date range is equal to year then we need to show the data for the selected year that is choose year is equal to year of order date I will end this calculation here to see the output of the calculation. Click OK. Let me drag this calculation to the filters and see the output. So I will select true. And if you see, uh, we have selected by default 2020 as the default selection. So it is showing 2020. If we select 2022, it will show 2022. So right click show parameter for the data. So next we will write the conditions whenever user selects the Q1, it should display the data for q1 okay let me drill down to the quarter level so here we have q1 q2 values we will use uh, whether the user has selected quarter or month we need to so i will use left and right functions so left of q1 will give us the q whereas right of uh, one it will display it will give us the output one so Edit the calculation. So else if so instead of date range year, if user has selected Q, and we should display data for the quarter. Left of date range comma one. If this one is equals to Q, okay, then we need to display the data for the selected year choose year is equal to year of other date and we need to add one more condition that is to show the data for selected selected quarter okay so we can do that using the quarter of order date So if this quarter of order date is equal to so 
height of sorry date range come on one so this one will give the one we need to convert it to the integer in have an error say closing parenthesis intent so we need to close the bracket okay now click ok and see the output so i will explain what is happening here so now if you select q1 to show the data for q1 if you select 2023 will show 2023 q1 okay if you select q2 it will show the q2 so what we are doing is we are uh, basically using the value that we provided in the parameter okay so if left of date range is equal to q which means user has selected quarter and we should display the q1 how this calculation knows uh, to display q1 because we have written quarter of order date is equal to integer right of date range comma one so this one will give if user selects q2 it will return two here if q1 user selects q1 it will return the one here so it will display the uh, based on the selection it will display the value filter the data okay next we'll write one more condition for the month so sorry let me copy this condition control c control v okay if left of date range is equal to one so we have given for months as m1 m2 m3 like that okay uh, for if users if left of date range come one is equal to one which means user has selected month so i'm going to change it as month of order date is equal to it is a right of date range one okay click okay now if user selects the january it will display the data for january only if user selects the february it will display data for february if user selects q1 it will display data for q1 jan feb march it is for q2 it will display april may june if user selects 2022 then the calculation the data will automatically filter to the selected period okay now next uh, we'll write one more calculation for the previous period let me duplicate the same calculation okay let me duplicate the sheet i'm going to name it as the previous period okay so i will rename this calculation to this previous selection okay filter previous okay so the calculation is simple we can easily modify the current selection to the previous selection by simply adding minus one to the chosen here and so if choose year minus one add minus one everywhere where there is a choose year here minus one and then click ok now instead of this filter i will take the filter previous selection and put it here into the filters and then select true click ok if you can see we have selected 2021 q2 it will display 2020 q2 so which is the previous period okay i am going to name this as current period okay so now building the kpi is uh, easy let me bring these two sheets into the dashboard and see the comparison okay current period is 2020 so 2023 i will select it will show 2023 q2 previous period 2022 q2 so if you want to do the sales for the current period you can simply write create calculated field sales and period if filter selection current selection is true then sales and you can add some to aggregate the values okay 
now duplicate the same calculation for the previous period right click edit and I will name this calculation as sales previous period so if data previous selection is true then sales so 